Welcome to this presentation on logarithms, which is also referred to as logs. What we're going to do is some conversion or transformation between one format to another. What formats are we talking about? Well, we have this format and we're going to change it into this format, which is logarithmic across here. These statements are equivalent, except they're in different formats. On the left here, n equals a to the power of x, that's referred to as exponent form. Some people use the word index form. And this form is the logarithmic form. Let's identify each part so we can get deeper meaning. We have here n, which is the number we'll be working with. And then the a here, that refers to the base. And the base is always below because it's in the basement down the bottom. So it's below what? It's below the x here, which is the power. So the power is up the top here. Now that's equivalent to this statement here, which is logarithmic. We have log base a. Remember, that's the basement down below. And then we have n, the number, and that equals x, the power. So the best way for us to get concrete understanding is to do some examples. So let's do that. Let me unveil the first one. We have log base 2, 16 equals the power of 4. That's the power right over there, the x there. So let's transform this into this format, which is what we're going for. So the first thing you might want to do is identify each component, thereby giving the opportunity to transform them easily and simply. So each component, let's identify, well, we've got the little 2 down here, and that 2 there is the base. And over here, the 4. That's the x, that's equivalent to the power. Some people call it the exponent. And over here, the 16, of course, in the middle there, that's the number we're working with. Now, basically, we've identified each bit and we're going to convert it into this format here. So logs basically is whenever the logarithm of a number is equivalent to, is equal to the power to which the base needs to be raised in order to get that power, that uh, number. So let's have a look here how we're going to convert these guys. So there's our statement. Let's find the equivalent statement here in exponent form. And we're going to write it up like this. So the first thing we have is the number, and the number is 16. So we have 16, and that is equal to, well, that's going to be the base. And what do we have as the base? That's that 2 there. See how it's in the basement down below? So we put the 2 there. Like that equals 2. And x is the power right up there. Let's have a look at x. x is the equivalent to the power there. So it's going to equal 4, isn't it? So let me just write that up. And as you can see, that is a true statement. 2 to the power 4 is in fact 16. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 4 times equals 16. So that's true. So they match. So we just box that up. Okay, let's try another example so we can gain even more clarity. And the more of these you do, the easier they get. So let's unveil it. This one has a fraction in it. And the logarithmic equation is log base 4, 8 equals 3 over 2, the fraction over there. So let's identify each bit. Many of you probably don't need to identify. Maybe you can start to recognize how to do it automatically or visually in your mind's eye. So we have here the power. Here we have the, as you can see, that's the number. And down below, we have the base. Right there in the basement. So let's write up the equivalent exponent form here, or some people call it index form. So what do we have? We have 8. Well, 8 is going to equal the equivalent of the base, there's the base, of 4 to the power of, right there, 3 on 2. So it's written like that. Now you can go ahead and put that into your calculator, and that will be a true statement. 8 does, in fact, equal 4 to the power 3, three on 2 the power of 3 on 2. So let me box that up. Let's do a couple more examples. And these next ones, I've got some interesting fractions and radicals and thirds on them. We have a long statement here. It's negative 3 on 2 equals log base 2, 1 over 2 root 2. So let's identify each part here. The easiest part is the base. So let me just write, point that out here. There's our base. 
All you guys don't need to actually write all these bases and everything. Um, I think by now you might be getting it. So we've got the base. Over here, this whole area here is the number. Number. And this part here is the power. So let's write down the equivalent statement in exponent form. So what do we have? We have the number, which is 1 over 2 root 2 like that, and that equals, well, what does it equal? Well, it's going to equal the base, isn't it? We have the base right there. 2 to the power of what? Well, I'm going to kind of rub that out there. So I'm going to write on top of it. Let me fix it up now. That's still the base there. 2 to the power of, well, the power is right there. There's our power, negative 3 on 2. And that statement is correct. 1 on 2 root 2 equals, is equivalent to 2 to the power of the fractional index there of negative 3 on 2. Okay, let's try one more example as I box that up. One last one is the last one. We have log base 2, 128 equals the number of 7. Let's uh, mark them up. That's going to be the power. That's our number. And of course, you know the next one what that is. Okay, let's put it all together. So we're going to look for exponent format. So 128 is equivalent to equals, what does it equal? Well, what's our base? That's going to be 2, isn't it? So it's 2 to the power of, there's our power right there. It equals 7, doesn't it? So put it right there. So 2 to the power of 7, you can check that on your calculator, is equivalent to 128. Let's just box that up. That's our solution.